Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Welcome back. Welcome to Advanced Class 14. Yes, and here we are starting once again with a little review of what we saw in the last class. We were looking at reported speech. And yesterday we looked at reported speech with the future. So we were talking about how the future, when we report the speech, will change to a conditional structure. Any structure with can would change to could. And the present continuous will change to the past continuous. So we were practicing those structures. So the future changes to a conditional. I'll do it. Kyle said he would do it. I can do it. Kyle said he could do it. And note here that we have an optional that. We could say, Kyle said that he could do it. Or, Kyle said he could do it. Okay? And then the present continuous, John's coming. Kyle said that, again optional, Kyle said that John was coming. Kyle said that John was coming. Where is he? Kyle said that John was coming. Okay? So now I'm going to give you some sentences to practice, and I would like you to report the speech. Okay, the first one. We're working on it. So on all these, you can say, you said that. So we're working on it. You said that you were working on it. Very good. She's coming to the party. You said that she was coming to the party. Very good. They're on their way. In voz alta, at home, they're on their way. You said that they were on their way. Very good. He's not going to be there. You said that he wasn't going to be here. Why is he here? You said that he wasn't going to be here. The boss is here. We can't have a party when the boss is here. You said that he wasn't going to be here. I'm still working. You said that you were still working. You said that you were still working. We'll go there. You said that we'd go there. You said that we'd go there. He's hungry. Okay, reported speech. You said that he was hungry. You said that he was hungry. Very good. It's getting late. You said that it was getting late. The meeting's over. You said that the meeting was over. Very good. He can fix it. You said that he could fix it. Notice the can changes to could. You said that he could fix it. Very good. She will help us. You said that she would help us. She would help us. Very good. Changing to the conditional. You said that she would help us. Very good. All right. Now, we also, take a look, we also took a look in the last class at a common structure with possessive pronouns when we're talking about our friends, and we say, he's a friend of mine. She's a friend of yours. He's a friend of ours. So, if I say, he's Hannah's friend, you can say, he's a friend of Hannah's. They're friends of ours. They're, well, they're our friends, and you say, they're friends of ours. I gave that one to you. That was a freebie. That was a freebie. I gave you the answer. We're their friends. We're friends of theirs. So we are, we're, we're friends of theirs. She's Natasha's friend. She's a friend of Natasha's. Is he Alberto's friend? At home. Is he, is he a friend of Alberto's? Yes, he is. He's Carly's friend. Is he a friend of Carly's? Are they Richard's friends? In the plural. Are, th are they Richard's friends? Are they friends of Richard's? Are they friends of Richard's? Yes. Is he our friend? At home? At home? Is he a friend of ours? 
you could say. Is he a friend of ours? Hmm. She's Fitz's friend. She's a friend of Fitz's. Very good. They're David's friends. They're friends of David's. Expression of the day. All right, it's time now for the expression of the day. That's right, the expression of the day. Our expression today is to learn the ropes. To learn the ropes, which means to learn how to do something. To go through a temporary adjustment period when you learn how to do something, typically in a job. You learn how to perform certain tasks. When I started working on the radio, I had to learn the ropes. I came in and I said to Alberto, who had been hosting shows for a long time, and I said, Alberto, teach me the ropes. Show me the ropes. Show me how to do this. And he said, Kyle, don't worry. I will teach you. I'll show you the ropes. And he showed me how to how to do things, how to, how to host a radio show. He showed me the ropes. So I learned the ropes. I learned the ropes. Uh, I started hosting a show called The Verb Circus, which I still do. And, uh, and I, I learned the ropes by hosting that show. So to learn the ropes, to gain some experience and to learn how to do something. And that's our expression of the day, ladies and gentlemen, to learn the ropes. All right, now we're going to move on. And we're going to practice with some numbers. So uh, we have our local, our local number expert, Nacho, in the studio. Nacho, how are you? Hi, fine, thanks. Very good, very good. And I'm going to test not only you at home, but also Nacho with the numbers. And as you can see in your student guide, today we're going to practice with numbers where we have to say thousand and. Now, if you have seen or have you have heard before me, or I suppose the other teachers as well, explaining numbers, we always say we always say hundred and hundred and one hundred and twenty three thousand four hundred and fifty six. So it's always hundred and. But we can have thousand and if we have a zero in the position after the thousand. If if you have one thousand, so one comma zero two three, for example, we would say one thousand and twenty three, because we're we're not going to say zero hundred and. So instead of saying that, we just skip the zero hundred and we say and twenty three one thousand and twenty three. So as always, I'm going to dictate some numbers, and you can write them down at home. And then read them back to me. And we will challenge our studio technician, Nacho, as well. Are you ready? Are you ready, Nacho? Yes, I am. <laughs> Nacho is ready. Are you ready at home? Yes? Okay. The first number. 123,023. And the second number. 660,000. And 12. And the third number. 643,000. And 14. And the fourth number. 101,000. And 10. And the fifth number. The fifth and final number. 110,000. And 45. Okay, Nacho, do you, have your, do you have your answers? I think so. Okay, the answers are in, ladies and gentlemen. At home, did you get them all right? I hope so. Okay, Nacho, what was the first number? 123,023. Yes, we have a winner. Yes, correct. 123,000. And 23. Correct. And the second number, Nacho? 660,012. Yes. Fantastic. Nacho is two for two, ladies and gentlemen. Going for the third. 643,014. 643,014. That is also correct. Yes. 
He's he's on a roll. You can can you say una una racha? En racha. <laughs> en racha. He is en racha. He's on a roll. And the fourth number. One hundred and one thousand and twenty. One hundred and one thousand and twenty. Yes. Yes. And the final number. One hundred and ten thousand and forty five. And 40, wow, five for five. Yes, 100% for Nacho. The same as last time. I think he got them all right last time as well. Hmm, well done, Nacho. Good job. Thanks. Okay, and at home, did you get those all right? Did you get them all right? Okay, well done. We will review more numbers in future classes. Be sure to follow in your student guide as there's a good explanation there of how the numbers work. Vocabulary of the day. All right, now with the vocabulary of the day. The first word. Oh, this is a terrible one. Suicidarse. To commit suicide. To commit suicide. Mm, terrible, but, yep, yeah, to commit suicide. Exagerar. The verb to exaggerate. To exaggerate. Exaggerate. That's right. Pelirrojo. Adjectivo. Redheaded. Redheaded. Very good. Recurrir a enchufes. To pull strings. To pull strings. That's right. To pull strings. Acetuna. Very important word in Andalusia. Olive. Olive. And I like that word because it has a V. Olive. 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 I ate all of the olives. Olive. Very good. All right. Finally, now we're going to move on to talk about the verb to keep. The verb to keep, which is an interesting verb with many different meanings. We have to keep followed by gerund. To keep plus gerund. I hope you'll keep listening to this show. I hope you will keep listening to Vaughn Radio, is no dejar de hacer algo, to keep doing something, keep talking. I'm going to keep talking until I have no time left, okay? And then keep, of course, to keep something is guardar, guardar algo. So to hold something in a given place or to store something. They say that wine should be kept in a cool, dry place. Cigars have to be kept in a humid environment. environment. Now, to keep is an irregular verb. Every day I keep. Yesterday I kept. Lately, I have kept. I have kept. Okay. So, tell me to keep going. Should I stop or should I keep going? Kyle, keep going. Keep going. Keep talking. Okay. We have, we have a lot of expressions, too. We say, keep the change. Quédate con el, con el cambio. Keep the change, we can say. All right. Now, are you, are you good at keeping secrets? Are you good at keeping secrets? I'm good at keeping secrets. I, we, we also say, to keep your word. To keep one's word. If you keep your word, it means you keep your promises. It means if you promise to do something, then you're going to do it. You have to keep your word, we say. So it's important to keep your word. During, during the economic crisis, a lot of people are trying to keep their jobs, we could say. Mm. To keep their jobs. They don't want to lose their jobs. They want to keep their jobs. Translation. Okay, let's try a little bit of translation here. Sigue intentando. Sigue intentando. Keep trying. Keep trying. Guardamelo. Guardamelo. Keep it for me. Keep it for me. Very good. Okay. Mi jefe me mantiene ocupado. My boss keeps me busy. My boss keeps me busy. Mm. Siempre mantiene su habitación limpio. He always keeps his room clean. Okay? At home. Make sure you're translating these at home. He always keeps his room clean. 
Manténme informado. Keep me informed. I think I mentioned that already. Keep me informed. Okay? If I, I could say, my car is always breaking down. I could also say, my car keeps breaking down. It keeps on breaking down. We very often use the preposition on. It keeps on breaking down. It keeps on happening. I keep on having problems with my car because it keeps on breaking down. Okay? I'm always spending money on shoes. Don't keep spending your money on shoes. I keep doing it. I keep spending my money on shoes. Hmm. Okay, let's let's try a little bit more translation. Trato de mantenerme en forma. I try to keep en forma. I try to keep in shape. I try to keep in shape. I try to keep fit. Yes, 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 yes. No faltaré en mi palabra. Lo mantendré. Lo mantendré. I'll keep my word. I'll keep my word. Well, it looks like I can't keep talking any longer. Can I, Nacho? I can't, can I keep talking or no? No, you can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. He's telling me I can't keep talking. I have to finish because we're completely out of time. But please keep listening. Keep listening because there's more coming up. We're finishing with this show, but there's always more. There's always more to listen to here on Vaughn Radio. So keep listening. I'm going to finish, but I'll be back soon. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>